And we may have been getting plenty of rain lately, but it wasn't long ago when everybody was feeling the effects of the drought. And a lot of the water we use does go right on our grass. But Fox 13's Charlie Belcher tells us about drought-proof ground cover that some people believe could be the front yard of the future. You're looking at ornamental hey, perennial peanuts, and Tom Canilio loves it. I love it. I told you he did. Canilio operates the Center of Sustainable Agroforestry at the St. Leo Abbey. The University of Florida developed this ground cover years ago for cows and horses to eat. Now, Canilio thinks it's time homeowners discovered its wonders. It's the homeowner, really, who deserves this crop, this product, this ground cover. The plant is in the legume family. It needs lots of sun, but that's about it. It needs no nitrogen fertilizer, no water. You don't even have to mow it. It almost needs no, no care once it's established. If you didn't mow it but once a year, this is what it'll look like coming up to your calf. But if you do mow it, you get these pretty yellow flowers. And, as you know, the flowers are edible. That's right, edible. You can take any one of the yellow flowers, pick it right out of the ground, and eat it. No, it doesn't taste like chicken. It tastes like peanut. And while you might have a few birds or rabbits show up in your front yard for a snack, insects won't touch it. See, there's no nectar in the flowers. Uh, and, but insects have uh, no interest in the leaves. Neither are there diseases on the leaves. You still have to fight weeds, but there are herbicides available that will kill the weeds and not the peanut. Oh, and even though it's related to the peanut plant, the ground cover does not produce a nut. The state uses it on some interstates, and Dade City has bought some from Canelio to use in public areas like medians. Canelio sells it for about 22 cents per square foot. One plant will cover four square feet in a year. The future of Florida lawns? I guess we'll have to wait and see. In St. Leo, Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News.